Hello everyone. We shall discuss few cases of Chiari malformation. This is a sagittal T2 MR brain series of a 23 year old female patient. Here is peg like tonsillar descent below the level of base and opostean line that is McRae's line with syringohydromelia of cervical cord. The syringohydromelia is even seen in the thoracic cord. With these features, diagnosis of Chiari 1 malformation is made out. Chiari 1 is most common type out of all Chiari malformations. 50% of the cases are asymptomatic. The characteristic feature is tonsillar herniation with peg-like tonsils of the tonsils lying at least more than 5 mm below the foramen magnum line or McRae's line. Low-lying tonsils can be a differential where the shape of the tonsil will be round rather than peg-like. Hydrocylingomelia is one of the characteristic features of this condition. Crowded foramen magnum with effaced CSF spaces is one of the feature. Diminished CSF flow at posterior foramen magnum in CSF flow studies can be seen. This is another case where the patient is 21 year old female patient presented with complaints of gait disturbances, MRI brain sagittal T2 weighted images demonstrating tonsillar descent with peg like tonsils and descent of medulla oblongata. The clivus is appearing short with increased clivodental interval. The posterior fossa appears shallow with descent of fourth ventricle too. There is no syringohydromelia in the card. With the above features of descent of medulla and tonsillar herniation, a diagnosis of KRE 1.5 is made out. KRE 1.5 is considered as a variant of KRE 1 malformation where the caudal migration of brainstem, especially medulla, along with cerebellar tonsillar herniation is considered characteristic. Posterior angulation of odontoid process can be seen. This is another case. Sagittal fluid sensitivity MR whole spine imaging series demonstrating hyperintense signal within the card suggestive of syringohydromelia which is seen in the cervical thoracic spinal cord. There is a defect noted in the lower lumbar region with herniation of neural placard, meninges, nerve roots and CSF filled sac like structure here suggestive of myelomeningocele. We could clearly appreciate the defect here with herniation of the neural placard, myelomeningocele. On this sagittal series, we can clearly appreciate a small posterior fossa with tonsillar herniation and low lying fourth ventricle. So, all these features are suggestive of KRE2 malformation. KRE2 malformation is also called Arnold KRE malformation, small posterior fossa with descent of cerebellar tonsils and brainstem along with myelomeningocele or meningocele is considered characteristic. There can be other features like fenestrated FOX, interdistations like this can be seen, tectal weakening, dysgenesis or agenesis of corpus callosum, hydrocephalus, prominent massa intermedia, crowding of posterior fossa structures can be seen. This is another case where there is a bony defect in the occipital region with herniation of meninges and brain tissue forming a large encephalocele and it is diagnosed to be KRE3 malformation. KRE3 malformation will have KRE2 malformation features plus a bony defect in the low occipital region forming a cephalocele with herniation of meninges or brain tissue. The other rare variants of KRE malformation are KRE0 where there is syringohydromelia without tonsillar herniation, KRE4 where the cerebellum is severely hypoplastic without herniation of cerebellum through the foramen magnum and KRE5 where the cerebellum is absent and herniation of the occipital lobe through the foramen magnum. Thank you. Hope this video was useful to you.